The other person has call captions enabled. Please start speaking. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In March 2022 feature drop for Pixel devices, Google released a very exciting feature that converts your phone calls into chats, which means you can read what the other person is saying on the screen and reply back using the keyboard without the need to pick up the phone yourself. And that could be very useful in a lot of ways. This feature is only exclusive to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models and I'm going to show you how it works in real life and how this could change the way we answer phone calls. And now, let's begin. First, let me show you how to activate the feature on your Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. You definitely need March 2022 update to be installed on the device and the second thing I recommend doing is to make sure each and every Google app is up to date by going to the manage apps and device page and then tap on all apps and check for updates manually from this page. Sometimes it says all apps are up to date but when you go inside and check for updates from here you get even more updates that are not visible in the front page and then once you update all your apps head over to settings and then sound and vibration then live caption and here you will find a new toggle called type responses during calls activate this toggle and also make sure you have use live caption toggle activated if you don't have this toggle activated the feature will not kick in when you receive a phone call so make sure it's activated and another cool trick you can do is to activate live caption in volume control and this will give you a quick access to the feature so you can turn it on or off only when you need to and there is also a tile that you can add to your quick settings area over here Call captions support six different languages that you can add to your list from the same live caption page and then languages and the translation. Under the captions section, you can tap on add a language and download the ones you are missing using this button. And once you download it, you will see it in the list. One more thing to show you under the settings page, when you scroll all the way down, you will see voice for typed responses. And when you tap on it, you will be able to choose between different voices under each language. So for example, when you tap on the language, you have English, French, and so on. And each language has its own uh, voices. So you can play a sample from the voice by hitting the play button. Hi, how are you doing today? And then make your choice accordingly. Now we are done with the settings. So let me make a phone call on the 6 Pro to show you how the call captioning feature works in detail. Now I have two phones and live caption is activated on the 6 Pro. So let me call myself from the iPhone. Let me also activate the mute on the iPhone to avoid any interference. And as you see now I'm getting a normal call notification and so far nothing is different. But once I hit answer, as you see, I'm getting a pop-up on the screen says caption call or don't caption call. Once you tap on caption call, the recipient will listen to an automated message advising that call captioning is being used. So let me put mute on the 6 Pro as well and tap on caption call. Also, let's put the iPhone on loudspeaker so you can hear the message. The other person has call captions enabled. Please start speaking. So this message will set the recipient expectations that this is not a voicemail or any sort of an answering machine. So let's remove the mute from the iPhone and start talking. Hey, what's up? I wanted to check if you are free tonight for dinner in my place. As you see, the feature picked up every single word I said accurately, which is really nice. Now it's time to reply back to the recipient using the keyboard. And to do this, you have a keyboard icon in the center. Tapping on it will expand the window. And now you have some smart replies that you can use immediately and also the keyboard to start typing your own. So let me start with the keyboard first. And as I'm typing, the other person will get this audio feedback to let them know that I'm doing something. So I'm going to say I'm not sure yet. Okay. And once I tap on send, I'm not sure yet. So this is how the other person will listen to your messages. Let's try one more reply from the iPhone. Why not? And I'm going to type another message. I might be late at work. Okay, then I will wait for your call. 
You can also choose between six different languages for your call captions. And to do this, you need to tap on the live caption window, tap on the current language, and you will see the other languages you can choose from. And if you want to add more, tap on add language, and you can download the ones you want. Once you hit the download button and then select language, you will get this chip at the top says downloading. Once the download finishes, you will find it available in the list. So now the download is done and once you change the language from here, it will automatically repeat the same automated message that we heard at the beginning. So you got the idea. So this is how the feature works and once you are done with the call captioning and you want to continue the call yourself, simply dismiss the keyboard, remove the mute and everything will be back to normal. You might be also wondering what happens if you initiated the call. In this case, you will get the call captioning pop-up once the recipient answers. So let me show you this. So now I answered and as you see, I'm getting the same pop-up on the screen to start captioning. This feature will be very useful if you are in a meeting and you cannot take the phone call, but at the same time, you want to know what it's all about. And also in case you want to ignore any of the sales calls or any annoying calls, you can check first before picking up the line yourself. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my in-depth review for the call captioning feature on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. I kind of have mixed feelings about the feature. I think it's useful, but I'm not sure how people will respond when I start using it. So I'm going to give it some time to make up my mind. But if you started to use the feature already and you want to share your thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.